Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with me for Saturday's daily Bible study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. Our lesson for today is give God the glory. Give God the glory. Coming from Psalm 72, verses 11 through 19. Wonderful and powerful lesson we have. We're going to get ready and get started and move right into the lesson. But first, I want to ask if anything you see it touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or you have any questions or comments or would like prayer, please let me know, and I will add your name to the prayer list. And and uh, uh, also, I would like to ask if you would, subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord, that we may be become more proficient doers of his word and not hearers only, that the Holy Spirit will have more to reach into us and, and pull out when we need something to say, that we will have the right words in dwelling in us. Amen. We're going to get ready and get started, but first we're going to have prayer, then we're going to move right into the lesson. Amen. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into no temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory on thine dear god in heaven we thank you father we thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us we thank you for all that you have done you is doing and you shall do in each of our life father we thank you father that you are with us you are with us when we go out and when we come in father we thank you father that you uh, that, that the Holy Spirit that resides in each of us is with us on, on our daily uh, task as we are going forth daily in the name of Jesus and that that Holy Spirit unctions us to of what to say and what not to say and how to act in the name of Jesus. And we pray through your grace and mercy, Father, that we do follow the unctioning of the Holy Spirit and that through your grace and mercy we are strengthened and we are able to and we do follow the unctioning of the Holy Spirit as it teaches us and guides us and leads us into all truth in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise, and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you do open our eyes that we see, our ears that we hear, and you give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high as we study and meditate on your word in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, we're going to get ready to move right into the lesson. God, give God the glory. Give God the glory. Psalm 72, verses 11 through 19. And the scripture lesson text reads, Yes, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. For he will deliver the needy when he cries. The poor also, and him who has no helper. He will spare the poor and needy. He will save the souls of the needy. He will redeem their life from oppression and violence, and precious shall be their blood in his sight. And he shall live, and the gold of Sheba will be given to him. Prayer also will be made for him continually, and daily he shall be prayed. There will be an abundance of grain in the earth on the top of the mountains its fruit shall wave like lebanon and those of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth his name shall endure forever his name shall continue as long as the sun the men shall be blessed in him all nations shall call him blessed blessed be the lord god the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. Such a powerful lesson. Powerful lesson. We wonder many, some of the, 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 the uh, pronouncements of the blessing that, that where we stand people still go through and deal with different hardships. Uh, we wonder why is this, but it, it is a time to come that, that we grow stronger 
as we deal with different hardships, that we are mightier in his word, in his doing, as we go forward, and that we are able to stand strong and in, 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 in his name. Amen. <clears throat> as we know that there are many countries today, not last year, not centuries ago, but today, that are still having people that are killed for following the name of Jesus. We are blessed that we can speak his name wherever we are. We can give him praise. We can read his word without worrying about <clears throat> whether someone is coming behind us to kill us or not. But there are many places that they still have that worry over their head. But yet and still, they are bold in their serving their God. They are bold in serving the Lord God Almighty. Where do we stand? Are we strong in standing for him? Even in times of trouble, even when we are going through situations. We don't go through situations that they go through. Of, of worrying if they are going to be put in jail or, or killed for, for serving the Lord or for calling on his name or for reading the Bible. We don't have those troubles. So we should be thankful that even in the situations that we go through, that we are still blessed among measure. It says, June kings, Gentile kings will come to Jerusalem with tribute and with presents for the king of kings. Here comes the ruler of Spain there are the heads of state from various islands, countries, and now you see the rulers of the Shikandams of Southern Arabia. The airport is crowded with visiting dignitaries because all acknowledge his sway and all nations without exception serve him. Kings of wealth and thought and music and art have already acknowledged him and shall fear Maya. The king's tremendous compassion for the needy is seen here. The poor downtrodden and the underdogs will have a mighty deliverer. Poverty will vanish and social injustice will be a thing of the past. The weak and the needy will have instant access to him and will be certain of considerate attention and prompt action. He will rescue them from unjust and cruel treatment. He will show the world how precious their lives are to him. The shout, long live the king, will rise from his loyal subjects in their gratitude. They will give him gold from the treasures of Sheba. Never Ne never ceasing prayer will ascend from all over the world for him and people will bless him from dawn to dusk the fertility of the land will be indescribable barns and silos will bulge with grain even places never previously cultivated like the top of the mountains will, will wave with fields of ripened grain, undaunting in the breeze like the forests of Lebanon. The cities will be richly inhabited with people as the fields are filled with grass. It will be a population explosion of epic proportions, yet there will be no scarcity of food. His name shall endure, loved and reverend forever. As long as the sun exists, his fame shall continue in accordance with the promise God made to Abraham. All men shall bless themselves in him, and all nations shall call him blessed. The Psalms closes with a doxology. The glorious reign of the Lord Jesus is God's achievement. It is he who brings about these wonderful conditions as no one else could do. And so it is fitting that his glorious name 
be praised forever and that his glory will fill the whole earth. Amen, amen. A wonderful day that is to come. That men and women in no nation will have to worry about being killed for serving the name of the Lord. What a precious and wonderful day to look forward to. No one will be hungry. No one will be without. All those that's in need will go to the Father and immediately it will be taken care of because they will be going to him in the right standing and serving him as their God. Such a wonderful and powerful lesson we have today. I pray you meditate on this lesson and have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless each of you.